I'm here to raise awareness on how important food trucks are in the culinary world and reasons why we should support them. Hey, I'm Sharice with SA Texas Foodies. I go around San Antonio showing you all the latest things to eat and things to do in this awesome city. And here I am with Aaron, which is a local San Antonian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one's clapping right now. <laughs> we, can you put like a like a clap track we in don't, the back? We don't do fake stuff here. We only real. Dang it. <laughs> I think food trucks are so awesome because it's somebody taking a chance they're like they're they're like you know what I want to open a restaurant. Uh, this is the first step. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna get this food truck and make this food and sell this food out in the street and make a living from it. Right, like food truck owners that start a food truck in the summer. I mean, that's a dream. That that's a grind. That they're really sacrificing for us over here. Yeah, especially it gets 110. You know, it's think like, about how hot it's gonna be in the food truck. I was in the food truck filming. Yeah. And my phone, like, it said warning, warning. Like I had to put it in the freezer because it literally wigged out on me. Yeah. I mean, the, see, that's what I'm saying. And that's it gets just to a minute. 120. Now, where you, the the key to food trucks, though, the real key, is to get to a spot that's a nice and ch- shaded. You know, yeah. if you're gonna park that food truck, make sure it's shaded. Make sure it's in a good area because, you know, you don't want to come over here. 120 degrees sitting outside so what you got to do is get to a good spot get to where you know there's some uh, there's some cool things to see what's your do you have a favorite food truck in san antonio or nunchuck 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 (laughs) have you (laughs) uh, well uh, i mean yes i'm gonna say that i i had it the other day and that's my new favorite spot Oh man! So is yeah. it is it the egg rolls do it for you, or they just the creation, the innovative? Yeah, it's just you know what it is. I think that when somebody's trying to do something different, and they're being super creative, and they really want you to try, and they just just putting all themselves out there, and and you try the food, it's made with such love. You know, you know, you want to take a bite of that egg roll. I mean, you know. Yeah, so, th- so uh, p- maybe people don't know what we're talking about, but these egg rolls are so innovative. They they have chorizo, right, and mac and cheese, yeah. and they have, like, pork belly in them and stuff. Yeah. And they even had a, a barbacoa and big red type of dressing on top of oh, them. That was so I mean, good. They, that- had, <laughs> they had one chorizo mac and cheese oh, inside. Know. It was a, an egg roll. Oh, my God, it was so good. And then with that pork belly... The pork belly, you know, it's like in the videos where they take it, the knife, and crisp up the top, and they make this sauce that they put on. So when you bite into it, there's a crunch, but then it's soft in the middle. He's like, yeah. you know, it's so mm. good, man. I, I know. If you guys get a chance to go to this place, go to this place. I'm telling you, man. And plus, these guys, they, they, they. I can tell they're gonna be something real big one day. You know mm. what I mean? It's like they're they just have that drive. They they went for it. You know, so I love that, man. You know what I ha- love too were those uh, chocolate chip cookie egg rolls uh, that they gave us from dessert. Oh, uh, was it chocolate chip? Was it chocolate no, chip? no? It was like cookie dough. It was cookie dough. Cookie oh, dough. Man. Yeah, they had like they put cookie dough inside that. That was Delicious. so awesome. Delicious. I was like, dang, man. I would have never thought of that. I'm, I'm seriously going back. I, I'm getting hungry just talking <laughs> know, about this right Actually, now. I'm, I'm kind of getting hungry For, as, right? as well. I know. Me too. Me too. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Sorry. Maybe mo- most people don't know uh, that food, food trucks are kind of like nestled in a community of people. Yeah. And so you're not just getting like the truck. You're getting like the community of, of foodies maybe. Yeah. Like, I mean, when you go into a food truck spot, it's almost like an event kind of deal, you yeah. know? Because that's where you see food trucks. You see them at the fair. You sometimes you'll see them, you know. So you feel like you're at an event, and then when you put it in a place like that, it was super smart for them to go inside there. Oh, the Bessemme Food Truck Park. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what it was called. Yeah, I mean, I was just I was just blown away because when you go in there too, there's like a there's like a bar over there. You know. Anyway. So me me and Lucas were actually doing some research. And uh, we were trying to figure out, like, are food trucks, like, less money? Are they more money? And we're finding out that the food trucks are actually the same price as, like, restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, which makes sense because, mm -hmm. you know, they're limited to food, how much food they can buy. You know, uh, also, too, it's such a small space and they're paying for gas to get over there and to 
move around and they're just getting started. Yeah. I mean, they have to make some profit or else you're going, you're not going to make it. You know, you have to charge those prices as a food truck. But I also think that the quality of the food is probably higher because yeah. they're buying in lower quantities. The food is not just sitting there. Yeah. They have to sell it every day, basically. Yeah. I mean, so. th yeah, exactly. It's more fresh when mm -hmm. you go to a place that's, you know, brand new and it's, and it's a smaller area. They can't hold that food. And now you're getting all that good stuff. Yeah. So yeah. you're getting like brand new, fresh mm -hmm. food every time, local ingredients. Oh, they probably yeah. bought it like that day from the grocery store. Like it's not yeah. sitting in their refrigerator for hours and days and weeks. So if you had, if you were at a spot and you saw like regular restaurant or a food truck, like which you think you would try to go to? A regular restaurant or a food truck? Well, it depends on like what the weather's typical, like. Oh, okay. Or is it noon and 110 degrees or yes. is it? Yes. Okay. Well then you're probably going to the restaurant. Now if it but is. But you have to get to go, to go. Okay. To go, it's okay. okay. To go, then it doesn't matter. Probably the food truck because. You know, you're probably going to get faster service, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's a realistic question. I mean, that's a realistic mm -hmm. answer, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you know. you think it would be faster? Yeah, it would be faster, I think. Yeah, it would be faster. Yeah, yeah because, you know, nobody's going to be standing in line at 110 degrees to, to you know what I mean? In, oh, unless that's a good it was point. Gonna you're going to get high quality food pretty fast. Fast, yeah. Wow, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good selling point on yeah. food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean. I, it's I, like a. It's like a fast food or food truck, but it's like... And it's probably made. the same price as fast food now. Mm -hmm. I mean, fast food is just getting expensive everywhere, too. I mean, if I was going to go pay $15 for something, I'd rather go over to Nunchucks and get something yeah. interesting and good and, you know, made with love. The noodles. It, yeah. The made with love. noodles. Those were so good. The noodles were good. He was explaining what it was too. He was like, "I put butter on it and garlic on it, and I mean onions. I mean, you could just taste it was very, very good. It was made with a lot of love. What he, and put, he put all that, that in the noodles? He, yeah, and he put the that sauce on there too, and that kind of gave it that extra little kick, you know? Oh yeah, I just saw him like going like this with a fire and stuff. Oh yeah, well he's doing some kind of whiskey chicken mm -hmm. or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, the popping boba. I was like, it was that so orange good with a little. Candies on the straw. And that, yeah, the candy. Uh, I, it was like, a, I think he said it was like orange tang. Tang, yeah. It was so good. And I think his daughter made it. Like, but so his daughter made that, made up that drink? Yeah, she like came up with the recipe and figured it out and told him to sell it. And then he put it on his menu. Oh, wow. And see, that's yeah, what I like about food cool. trucks too. Like, if you come up with a good idea, they're like, oh, well, write it down. Do it. You know, let's do it. Yeah. You know, if you do that at a high, like a fancy restaurant, they're just going to be like, you know. Oh, speaking of of, of different innovatives, what? you know that uh, Lucas actually asked him hmm. if he could make a fried rice orange chicken egg roll. That's what so smart. What do you think? It's what do you think? A, I would get would so many off? of those. <laughs> Right? I mean, that, that that that's such a good idea, Lucas. That's a good idea, brother. My God. <laughs> Dude. What do you think? You would get a lot? You would try them? Uh, yeah, I would. I mean, of course. It, instead of going to eat Chinese food, you just get a bunch of egg rolls. <laughs> and, and it's all packed in there. You yeah, know? that would be so cool. Yeah. I wonder what it would look like. Like, would he leave the orange stuff on the side and then you dunk it? Or would he put it in there? Oh, oh that's right. a good idea. And also, too, you dunk it in some, he's got like three different sauces you dunk it in, make it all super interesting. That's such Man, a good I idea. I can't wait. He's going to make it, so. And he said that they were going to make, you know, the mac and cheese with the brisket inside with uh, some bacon in there, too. I was like, oh, you know, that that's good. But I like the fact that he makes that chorizo, uh, you know, uh, macaroni. Mac and cheese, mac and mac and cheese. cheese yeah. Oh my god, man! But that that pork belly though that oh I that really is that, a pork belly of my dreams. I thought that the that egg roll was gonna be my favorite. The pork belly was like yeah. my, the favorite thing. That thing is like magical. It's it, just like I was saying when they put that knife over it and scrape mm. it and and it's and it's crunchy. Oh my man. god! The flavor profile, the oh. texture. Oh I mean, it's god. just like. 10 out of 10. I, I mean, know. If I was, better. if I was, uh, if, if that was mm -hmm. part of my last meal request, like I would make that, I can make that part of my last meal request. The pork belly? I think, I swear <laughs> to God, I'd, I'd be like, get Nunchuck's food truck in here. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd want the, the chorizo mac and cheese, egg rolls, the noodles, and the pork belly? I think the, por the pork belly the po first. Oh, first. I mean, well, no, I just want to make sure that's there. You yeah. know, because I was like, I'm serious, man. I, I went home last night. I was like, that's one of the best things I've tasted. I'm serious. I yeah. was like, 
wow, man, when I hang out with you guys, yeah. man, it's, there's some perks, true. man. I'm like, dang. <laughs> You know? Yeah, and he would have never found it if we didn't go to a food truck. I know. He <laughs> thinks, like, your next journey, like, what's your going to be your next food truck you try? Like, um, what, are, what are you going to look for? Like, what's going to make you spark and go? Are you looking on social media? Or are you looking for, like, in the there's San f- Antonio paper? I'll have you say, uh, there's a food truck park right near where I live, and Uh-oh. I've been there a couple times. What so, yeah. What is it called? I don't. I don't want to oh. talk about it. It's kind <laughs> you of don't private. Know it. Yeah, no, I What's don't want the... anybody knowing where I go. Oh. You know what I mean? Cause, Gatekeeping you it. You know things. <laughs> I could blow up here. You see what I'm saying? Alamo Ranch. Alamo Ranch, right? Yeah, they got barbecue. They got all the standard ones in there. You know oh, what I mean? Is that is it that one that that has like a rooster on it? Yeah, yeah, it's got the the oh, freaky rooster. Dude, oh yeah, there's so many trucks there. I think there's like 15 trucks. I know. I know. It's, it's kind of hard to ridiculous. decide. Ridiculous. Yeah, did you? There's so, a lot. Who did you? Who did you go see over there? Do you remember? We uh, we did the Puerto Rican food, mm-hmm. the chicken with the you know the fried chicken yeah. stuff, and then we did a gordita place. So which one was your favorite out of that group right there? I mean, I would say the wait. I think it was Venezuelan food. I would say the Venezuelan food because it was different. Yeah, I'm craving that different stuff. I know, I know. Yeah, it's always Mm -hmm. nice to try something new like that, especially because you're already at a food truck. You might as well try something that you don't usually eat. You know. I think there was a. I think one of the foodies did this before, and I think we should start doing it because I think this would be really cool. Like get items from different places and put them together, and make like a creation. Oh, that'd be cool. But it's not. It's gonna. We're gonna have to warm it up again, probably. Oh, so. I didn't think about that. No, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It'd probably be pretty good. Still, I think you're right. Like, like, let's say, let's just make it like you know easy. Get like mac and cheese from this place, and then brisket from this place, and then put them all together, and it's like I, a that, brisket mac and that cheese. That would be that would be like you know yeah, and then you could put the names on each one and as they put them together and you know cool? the different know. places yeah I think that would be cool yeah that'd be really cool actually nice, nice All right, one. Thanks. see that's thanks. why she's the genius <laughs> and i'm some putz okay what would you say to somebody right now aaron that hasn't tried any food trucks before what would you say to them to make them to go try guys, different foods it's gonna be all right guys now listen i know that it's hard for you i know all right don't worry. Branch out. See things. Go. Get out. You can do it. All right? Go to these food trucks. Support your local businesses and try some food with some love in it. You know what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Yeah.